Seven. Tell me about what, what you got here. My science experiment is about a turbine lifting up paper clips. And I decided to uh, do this because it was a fun experiment. I thought it was going to be fun lifting stuff up. And I thought it would be really fun showing people how, to, how turbines can lift up stuff. Tell about how you, you had to persevere with this. Things didn't go right from the start. So I had troubles with my blades and my fan. So do you know how in wind turbines they need wind to spin? I needed a fan to spin, but I had a little fan that was only $20. And it, it didn't get to the turbine, so it wasn't spinning. And then I had problems with that, and I only had three days till the uh, uh, science fair. So I got a better fan. And then I did that and it started working and working and working, but the problem was I didn't actually put weight on it. So it didn't have any weight, so it just kept on spinning. So I didn't do that, so then I was like, okay, I'm great, I'm great, I'm, I'm done, I'm gonna work on my board. I worked on my board, I did everything, and then two days ago, well yesterday, when I put on these paper clips, it did not work. My blades, they just did not work. It was just blowing at it and it was wrecking my blades. So I was like, oh no, this is not going to work. So then I um, I made my blades better this morning. And so my friend uh, Ella, her dad told me, how about you put the, uh, how about you turn your science experiment sideways? I said, okay, I tried that. And it kind of worked, kind of didn't. So then I was like, how about I turn the fan? Maybe it'll work. I turned the fan and started working, working, working. I was like, this time I'm not going to forget to put the paper clips on. Because that's probably what happened last time. I didn't actually do the experiment. I just was so happy that it started working. So I put on the paper clips and started working, working. I was like, let's go. I'm going to be able to do this today. What does this show? It shows how wind turbines can not only create energy, it can also lift stuff. It took you how many... Like it took you a long time to do. It took me almost uh, like three weeks. And you missed recess because of it. I missed recess because of this and I really wanted the science good mark because my science mark right now is at 80% and this is probably half of it. So I was like, I have to get this done. I can I can play another soccer game. I can play another tournament. But this, this, is, this is something that will affect all my mark. Pretty happy with it? Are you pretty? I, I am really happy with this. Tell me about what you did. Um, we made a hydraulic powered crane and um, we used syringe and syringes and water to make the crane move up and down. What were some of the challenges? Um, with the thick cardboard we have to stick toothpicks in it so it'd make it um, hard to stick it through. Did, uh, was there a lot of failure with it or did it work right off the start? Um, there was a few mistakes. But we, we got through it and we, we managed to make it work. Trial and error with the toothpicks or how did that work? Oh, there was a lot of toothpicks that were broken. A lot. We had to buy a lot because they're very thin and we had, they got breaking. Were you surprised that the cardboard held it? Uh, yeah, but the cardboard was pretty thick so it was good. You happy with it the way it turned out? Yes. Happy with the way it turned yes, out? Yes, very happy. Can you show me how it works? Yes. So if we pull this back, the crane goes down, and then if we push the syringe back, the crane moves back up. Where did you get the plans for this, or did you have plans, or did you just come up with it? Um, I made a hydraulic elevator, which is kind of the same thing, um, last year, but it was like a little bit more simple. So I was on the same website, um, and I just found this, um, a design like this, and I thought it was... Tell me about, what we're, uh, tell me about the art show. 
Um, so last year we decided as a primary division that the parents were already coming in to see all the junior intermediate work. So we wanted to be able to showcase what the primary students were doing here. So we decided to do that through an artistic lens. What were the rules to it? Because all different colors, beautiful colors, <laughs> some are perfect. A lot are perfect and a lot of them you just want to grab and eat. So do you mean the cakes The cakes or the burgers or whatever, like just... Yeah, so what we came up just in our inquiry, we were doing persuasive writing and we ended up doing pieces on different food items. And then we ended up opening a restaurant and making burgers and calling our restaurant the Barbecue Kids. Um, so I guess naturally all of our art stemmed through a food lens, I guess you could say. Any limitations on color or anything or nope, it's just a... they could do whatever they wanted they were really creative i was really impressed we used something called clay crete um so we had real sprinkles and real toppings and then they used um, um just paint and mod podge to make them shine what grade is this sorry this is grade two and three beautiful yeah and you're happy with the results i think it's fantastic i mean the art that's showcased every year is just so wonderful it's definitely a team effort and and every division here does a really great job